On today's episode of Kilts and Culture with USA Kilts, we see if Robert Burns Scotch whiskey can live up to its famous name. Fair fa, your sonsy whiskey face. <laughs> Howdy, boys and girls. Welcome to Kilts of Culture. I am your host, Rocky. This is my lovely co-host, Mr. Eric. <laughs> Yo. Uh, yes. <laughs> Technology. I love it. Um, today, yep. special treat. We are trying Robert Burns Scotch Whiskey. And I am creeped out by the fact that his little eyeballs, like Kilroy, are sticking out above the top yeah. of the label there. Enough about the looks. Let's see how it tastes. Um, Mr. Mack, I'm gonna ask you to, uh, do you have any tasting notes? You said something on there about uh, uh, pepper. There's not really any tasting notes on this thing. Yeah, so the flavor profile that it says, according to the website, uh, black pepper, honey, malt, honeysuckle, and dried fruit. Okay. And it's a... I, I've let you influence me, but I, I can smell the, the sweetness to the honey and a little, like, fruitiness to it. Yeah. There. I'm actually... Yeah, I, I I started a little earlier than you guys, but, uh, yeah, I am getting that pepperiness and the, the honey. It's very sweet on the front. It's very sweet, I thought. It's very short, though. Tastes like haggis. No. <laughs> um, it, it's no. It's, it's 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 it more smells like haggis. It's more of like an ode to haggis, if you no, will. No, it's it it. I, I'm getting the peppery spiciness a little bit, not on the on the on the nose, but in tasting it. So I get it. I'm I'm not joking. It kind of tastes like haggis ish. To me, I don't know. I, I had a weird flashback. Uh, previous I think somebody, or, or bad haggis experience. I don't know which. I, I think somebody got the idea of saying it's peppery to kind of mask over the fact that there's an alcohol burn. Yeah, because it says it says on the site a multi sweet, to be multi sweet with a spicy twist on the finish. Hmm. I guess I can see that. I'm actually going to water it a little bit more, to be honest. Yeah, I poured a couple drops in, not too much. Um, Virtually no smoke. Yeah. No. Yeah, not not earthy or peaty at all. Um, I paid no. about 40 bucks for the bottle. So it's not like it's super expensive. It's, it's a reasonably priced scotch. Um, hmm. Any other? I don't hate it. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. Don't don't hate it. Don't love it. It's it's fine. To quote a to quote one of our killmakers, it, it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Uh, if you guys have had it before, if uh, you know, load it in the comments. What do you think of Robert Burns Scotch? Is it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm, Kirk, I'm had said he had, Kirk said he had had it. Yeah, uh, a few people had said they'd had it in the group. Um, it's 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 very not bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it, but if I'm trying to compare it to other scotch, I like it on, in its own right. If I start thinking about how it tastes compared to other scotches, then it starts to go down in my estimation. You know what I mean? Like if I was comparing it to just drinking anything, any other alcoholic beverage, be like, oh, okay, it's an interesting flavor. I could see cooking with it. <laughs> it would be good for toddies. It would be good for, uh, you know, for recipes and stuff. Yeah, I'll give you toddies because there's not a lot of like one-way profile. There's, no, in there's it. no, right. Yeah, Mac, was there anything? Uh, uh, and I know I'm putting you on the spot a little bit. Did, and when you read up on the on the scotch, was there anything in there why it is Robert Burns Scotch? Was it like based on a recipe he loved, or are they just bought the rights to the name i think they just bought the rights to the name i'm not seeing anything yeah um 
it's bottled to honor Scotland's favorite son. That's all it really says. It doesn't really give any more yeah. data on that. So the, the, so the real question then is who who actually is bottling it and where is it being made? Distilled, matured, and bottled in Scotland, Isle of Arran Distilleries Limited, or Distillers Limited, Arran. So, Arran. Yeah, the <clears> comments were coming in. Go ahead. You go. Okay. This is the comments that we're getting coming in. Uh, Kirk uh, did say it's more of a gimmick in his opinion. Um, so it's kind of, everyone's kind of bleh on it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, I'm getting a little bit of burn to it now. Um, and I'm, see, we lost Eric somehow. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. The, uh, <laughs> this Oompa Loompa's got out again. <laughs> he's, he's being drug off camera. <laughs> I'm going to bring in the song and dance. going to go across the bottom of the screen. I don't know. Mac, what are your, what are your thoughts on it? It's, or is there... eh, it's to me, it's like, I expected more from it, I guess. I expected a little bit more because of who it's named after and what they're trying to do. I just expected it to be, and it's, yeah. Yeah, I think... <clears throat> if I had to guess, putting on my marketing hat for a second, I think they're trying to sell it, um, you know, A, obviously capitalize on the, the, the legacy of Robert Burns. B, I think they're trying to sell it at that $40 price point specifically for Robert Burns suppers, for St. Andrew's dinners, things like that, where it's like, oh, you're supposed to buy scotch and have it with this meal. Therefore, I'm going to go to the liquor store. Uh, what do I get? Oh, this one. Um, look, it even has Robert Burns right on the label. Woohoo! Um, so that's where I think I would. That's where I think it's coming from. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. It's it's. Um, yeah, they're using it to, to more. I don't want to say. Not overpower the dinner that you may be having, but just to accent it a little bit. Yeah, it's a it's a good. Like, it, 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 there's no strong flavor profile either way. There's no, no like crazy strong peat or smoke. There's no crazy like it, there's no real real strong flavor profile. It's just very meh. It's all middle of the road of everything. It's 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 damning praise. Um, where mm -hmm. it's I don't know. It's 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 not it's not great. It's not bad. Since we are drinking. Uh, Robert Burns whiskey. Do we? Do you have any plans for for Burns Night? Um, not not a ton. Um, my son is seven, so as picky of an eater as he is, I don't think that uh, uh, the heart lover <laughs> liver lungs of Haggis is in his future. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't have anything in particular. We'll probably do a little something at my house, nothing big and exciting. Um, we'll, you know, obviously, you know, raise a glass to the immortal memory. Welcome back, Eric. Back? What? I've been here the whole time. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so, exactly. So what do you think I'm of the scotch? I'm just sitting here enjoying some scotch. Sorry? What do you think of the scotch? Uh, Fair Midland. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of like, uh, this might fall into that category of something very generic to give somebody to start with. If you, you know, and then you say, okay, now you have this as a baseline. Here's one that has this kind of profile. Here's one that has a PD profile. And you kind of, you know, start exploring into the different actual uh, realms of different flavor profiles. Whereas this is kind of like, just like, this is what a scotch sort of tastes like, you know, just it's, it's yes. really generic. So yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> scotch brand scotch. Kinda. Interestingly, it's, it's not the first scotch. one. It's it's not the first one that's used his name, by the way. I found uh, there. This one is uh, Robert Burns, but I think I found another one which is from years ago called Robbie Burns, and I found a picture of a very old, vintage, weird-looking bottle with his picture on it and everything. So it's definitely not the first time, nor will it be the last, that somebody tries to use Robert Burns as a marketing ploy. This is yeah. par for the course, you know. I'm curious if there's any like copyright on his image through his family or stuff like that 
or if it's just a it's, it's so. part of the the thing that is scotland now the marketing of scotland so <clears throat> anyway mac score one to ten robert burns scotch <clears throat> 3.9. 3.9? Okay. Okay. Below average from Mac. Mr. Eric, what's your score? I'll go I'll I'll go like a 4.2, 4.5. You know, like it's so simple that, you know, I wouldn't like refuse to drink it. It's not like the rocket fuel I've been served at parties sometimes. But it's not like something I'd expected a good whiskey tasting either. You know what I mean? Fair point. It's, Fair it's point. a party it's, it feels like a party drink. So just, yeah, 4.4.5. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'll go about the same. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four four. Um, it's. Yeah. It's fine. It's very very average. It's not great. It's not bad. It's not something I would, you know, jump through hoops to go buy. But it's fine. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's about it for uh, Robert Burns Scotch. Indeed. Ta-da. Oh, yeah. Mac went away. Well, All right. I don't, I don't know. What I, Did I give it a fair shot? I don't know. If I, I got to pour more. I, I yeah, got to give it I another mean, shot. Verifiable results. That's scientific. You need to have a, exactly. verifiable results. So I'll have to have some more, too, at some point. But it's very sweet. That's the other thing I've just noticed now. It's, just, it's really sweet on the back. It's just like... It's the honey and hmm. the, uh, uh, yeah. the fruit flavor. What are you out there in the YouTubes. What are you guys doing for uh, Burns Night? With Corona, with everyone separate, what are you doing? How are you gonna make Burns Night your own? How are you gonna celebrate? Are you gonna celebrate? You're gonna drink scotch in your apartment by yourself? You're gonna get a haggis? You're gonna do an online thing, read Burns poems? What are you gonna do? Tell us in the comments. We would love to hear it from you. <laughs>